We are continuing to follow breaking news tonight. President Trump has been hospitalized for COVID-19. He walked out of the White House earlier this evening, flown directly to Walter Reed Army Medical Center. The move comes less than 18 hours after the president announced that he had tested positive for the virus. And let's take a live look right now outside Walter Reed Medical Center. The White House has said the president is not leaving the hospital tonight. Several more people around the president's inner circle have tested positive, including the first lady, a top staffer, also several journalists and at least two U.S. senators. Good evening. We thank you for joining us. I'm Patrick Elwood. And I'm Gaynor Hall in tonight for Micah Mateer. WGN's Brona Tumulty has been following this developing story and she joins us now with the very latest. Brona. That's right. The president will reportedly be spending the next few days at the military medical center. Staffers insisting today that move was made out of an abundance of caution and stating the president plans to work there from the presidential offices. But before leaving the White House, the president took a moment to film an update, seemingly seeking to reassure the American public that he's doing okay. I think I'm doing very well, but we're going to make sure that things work out. President Trump seemingly upbeat Friday, tweeting this 18 second video. The first lady is doing very well. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I will never forget it. Thank it was filmed prior to his departure for Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland, where he'll be spending the next few days working from the presidential offices there, a precautionary measure on the advice of his doctor, among others. Trump gave a thumbs up but didn't speak prior to boarding Marine One as masked staffers joined him, including Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. He continues to be not only in good spirits but very energetic. Who, along with others, has seemingly tested negative. We've tested all of our core staff, and I can tell you that uh, uh, you know, Mr. Mr. Kushner, Mr. Scavino, myself, a number of uh, of us uh, have been tested, have come back with with negative re results. However, the virus does appear to be spreading in Washington, with Utah Senator Mike Lee, who was at the White House on Saturday, now in quarantine. The how and when Trump contracted the virus is unclear, but senior aide Hope Hicks tested positive Thursday. Her diagnosis come in moments before the president was set to fly to New Jersey for a fundraiser. We actually pull, pulled some of the people that had been traveling in in close contact. But the president still made that event. Um, it was deemed safe for the president to go. Um, he socially distanced. It was an outdoor event and it was deemed safe uh, by uh, White House operations for him. Now, the New York Times is reporting the president's symptoms include a cough and a low-grade fever, but the paper also says Hope Hicks was seemingly showing minor symptoms of the virus on Wednesday when she traveled with the president to Minnesota for a campaign rally. It's understood she was then quarantined on the return flight. Okay, Brona, thank you.